Imagine that we have an aqueous solution that contains 0.025 molar copper 1, tin 2, and lead 2 ions, and that we were going to add iodide to this solution. So iodide would precipitate out all three ions, and we have the Ksp values here. And the question is, in what order will the ions precipitate? So I don't know how you're thinking about doing the problem. If, you can, if you're thinking that you can simply look at these KSP values, that only works when the salts all have the same stoichiometry. Um, and maybe you're thinking, well, why don't we just calculate the solubility of each salt? That would work, but I'm going to propose a different plan because I think it'll be useful in another example that we'll do later. Let's calculate the iodide concentration when each cation begins to precipitate. So let's calculate the iodide concentration when each cation begins to precipitate. So let's do this first. And why would that be useful? Well, the cation that begins to precipitate at the lowest iodide concentration is the one to precipitate first. The cation that begins to precipitate at the highest iodide concentration precipitates last. So let's do it first for copper 1 iodide. Copper 1 iodide is in equilibrium with copper 1 and iodide. And at equilibrium, this solid is just starting to form, and most of the copper one, therefore, remains in solution. What is the iodide concentration under these conditions when copper one is just beginning to precipitate? Well, KSP will be copper one times iodide. We're solving for iodide. So that'll be Ksp, which is 1 times 10 to the negative 12th over copper 1, 0 0.025 molar. So iodide is 4 times 10 to the negative 11th molar. That's not a very big concentration. Can you imagine doing that, adding iodide, and as soon as it reaches 10 to the negative 11th molar, copper 1 starts to precipitate. I wouldn't be surprised if copper 1 precipitated first. Well, let's, let's calculate iodide concentration when tin starts to precipitate. So here we go. Tin 2 iodide is in equilibrium with tin 2 and 2 iodides. At equilibrium, the solid has just started to form, meaning that most of that tin 2 is still in solution. What is iodide under this condition? So Ksp is going to be the concentration of tin 2 times the concentration of iodide squared. And notice that we're not calling iodide 2x because we didn't call tin 2x. So solving for iodide, I think that'll be the square root of Ksp, which is 8.3 times 10 to the negative 6 over the 10 2 concentration. And when I did the arithmetic, I got 1.8 times 10 to the negative 2 molar iodide. Wow, that is a lot of iodide. This tin 2 is pretty darn soluble. It doesn't begin to precipitate until iodide reaches a pretty high concentration. So we've got one more salt to do, and that's lead 2 iodide. It'll be in equilibrium with lead 2 and 2 iodides. 
at equilibrium the solid is just starting to form so most of that lead is still in solution what is iodide under these conditions i'll let you write out the ksp i got a concentration of iodide of 5.6 with an insignificant 2 times 10 to the negative fourth molar so i think we have figured out the precipitation order the ion that required the least copper to begin to precipitate is copper one then it'll be lead two and then the ion that needed the most iodide to begin to precipitate is tin two this is the precipitation order so now the next question that comes to mind is can we precipitate all of this copper one before lead two starts to precipitate but we'll save that for the next video thanks for listening